Hey guys, Courtney here with Southern Owls. Welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you're having a great day today. I'm super excited because I am a part of this event that this Southern Girl can put on today. Um, I am a part of the Jingle Craft Hop today. And um, I'm excited to be here and to show y'all how to make this super cute cardinal lantern today. Um, so make sure that you check out my description and um, check out my comments because I'm going to tag all the other awesome YouTubers that are affiliated with this Jingle Craft Hop event. So let's get started. So I grabbed this lantern from my local at-home shop. Um, I have two cardinals. Um, that we are going to put on this lantern, um, a piece of foam, which I've already cut to size, and um, just some greenery that I have that we are going to snip up and add just to really jazz up this lantern, and of course some cardinal ribbon. So we're going to start um, by adding in our floral foam. Um, I have a glue pot over here that you can't see, but what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of glue to this foam, and then we're gonna stick this right into that crease right there on our lantern. These lanterns are really cool. They do light up and it's a nice warm glow. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna prep these cardinals. I just have a shish kebab stick from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut it in half and let me pre-do I'm gonna pre-do a little hole underneath her, or him, I guess these are the boys, underneath him, just do a little hole, get him prepped, and this is where we're gonna add in our shish kebab, our bamboo stick, whatever you like to call it. So I'm gonna dip that in some hot glue and just insert it just like that, and we're gonna do the same thing to this little guy. Okay, so now we have our two cardinals and we'll set these to the side so they can cure. So now we're going to, I like to add my bow neck. So let's move this off site and I'm gonna do just a pretty simple bow today. We're gonna start off with um, two, two and a half inch ribbons and then we're gonna do the center with this super cute cardinal one and a half inch ribbon. So let me grab, <clears throat> I thought I had my scissors laying out. Nope, let me grab my scissors and um, grab a cable tie. And um, we'll do green, it doesn't really matter. No, let's do tan. <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't really matter. And grab a pipe cleaner, okay? So we are going to start off with, no, actually, I'm going to start off with, no, let's do this. Little poinsettias. And I'm going to do um, eight inch tails. So we're going to measure out eight inches. And then um, let's see. Let's see what a five inch loop looks like. And I just like to measure it to size. Yeah, I think a five inch loop is going to be perfect. So make sure um, that you're measuring out 10 inches and just bringing that right into your hands and gathering it and then cutting that tail. So if you're using a bow maker, these are eight inch tails and then two five inch loops, okay? And I'm just gathering it in between my thumb and my pointer finger. Now we're gonna add the next ribbon and this is directional ribbon, so what I like to do is cut off my tail and lay it right there, ready to roll, because I don't want my cardinals, I don't want them to be upside down, right? So we have our cardinals facing the right direction, and then we're going to pinch and twist. And we're gonna measure nine inches. So that's gonna make this next loop four and a half inches. I always like to shrink my loops as I go with my bows so you can see every single layer of that bow. 
because if you do them all the same length, you're not going to be able to see the ribbon that is underneath. So that just gives a little bit. So you can kind of just see just a little bit longer, right? So that's our next layer. And now we're going to add in our one and a half inch ribbon. Same thing, we're going to measure out that eight inches. Oh, you know what? I have to go this way because it's directional. You have to be very careful with your directional. We're going to shrink that to eight inches. So that's going to be four inches if you are using a bow maker today. Oh, let me twist that the other way. Because we do not want our cardinals upside down. And then, so we do two loops. And we're going to do that racetrack loop in the middle where you just throw it over your thumb and it looks like a racetrack loop and cut off that eight inches. Okay, let me tuck that little tail in there and we want to make sure our other tail is not going to go anywhere that we pre-cut with the cardinal. We're going to grab our cable tie and loop it right where we're holding it right in the center i don't know hold on let me tuck this a little bit better because i do not want this bone to come undone okay there we go okay thread that through this is a six inch cable tie it's a pretty good size pretty good size to use for your bows and you're not going to want to secure it all the way yet you're going to want to thread that pipe cleaner through and then do it as tight as you can. Cut off that extra. And now we got a super beautiful cardinal themed bow for our lantern with some tails, okay? So we're gonna pull that pipe cleaner and now we're going to lay our bow flat <clears throat> and start dovetailing. So dovetailing is when you fold your ribbon in half and you cut up at an angle. You don't have to dovetail. I just think it makes it look a little nicer. You can cut your ribbon at an angle. I know a lot of people like to do that as well. I like a classic dovetail. Okay. Last one. And we'll kind of fluff her up a little bit. Make sure everything looks good before we secure her to our lantern. Very cool. Okay, we are going to grab our lantern and right here in the front is where I want the bow. So, I'm just going to secure that right in there with that pipe cleaner and then cut off the extra, tuck it in. Okay, now I'm going to face it towards me and fix these tails up a little bit. You can do shorter tails if you would like to, or longer tails. There we go. Hold on, this one's just a little bit, just like half an inch too long. You can always cut more, but you can't put it back. <laughs> okay, so now that we have that going for us, we are going to add in some greenery. I don't know why I'm putting these away. So this is just some snowy greenery that I love. Um, I actually got this from um, my wholesaler. Uh, he's out of Oklahoma. It's a and B Wholesale. a and B Wholesale out of Oklahoma. Um, you can shop with them. You just have to have your um, sales tax ID. 
and uh, then you can go shopping with them. They do not have a website yet, but it's definitely on the way. So I'm just gonna take some of this greenery and just start placing it right in. Just kind of, I mean, the whole idea is to hide your foam, right? No one wants to see what's going on back here. Oh, you know what? We need to hide the pipe cleaner. Okay, let me hide the pipe cleaner real quick. I, st I skipped a step. <laughs> okay, it's so great because this one and a half inch ribbon fits perfectly on this lantern. So I'm just gonna measure out what I need, snip it off, and then we're just gonna dabble a little hot glue. Dabble a little hot glue on the ends. My glue pot is now smoking, so we're gonna turn that down. We are gonna turn that down. Now I'm just gonna dabble a little bit on um, each side of the ribbon. You don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit okay just a little bit on the ends and then carefully place that around the lantern be careful you might get a little glue so just be careful okay we're gonna secure that just like that Okay, and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna keep on adding in some greenery. So I'm gonna move onto this guy. I love this guy. And we don't need this whole piece. So I'm gonna cut off little snippets, little snippets, and add this beautiful, I love this. It actually is like real touch almost too. So cute and just start adding in all of our greenery. It's always nice to have different um, colors of greenery, different textures of greenery. It really just elevates your design. And I have a whole nother bag. Let's get this open cut up some of this snowy because I want a couple more little bushels of it. So the great thing about using granary too is you can cut these stems and make nice little bunches so you don't have to leave them whole <clears throat> which is always nice to do. With greenery. I'm just gonna start adding all of this in. Just making it nice and full. I always kind of like to mimic from side to side. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little, little preview of where we're at. I'll have it facing y'all because I'm gonna add in some greenery now right here on the sides. Just these single pieces to cover up our foam so you don't see any of the elements. I'm just dipping these right in my hot glue pot. If you don't have a hot glue pot, you can use a hot glue gun as well. You can totally use a hot glue gun. I just feel like I'm using a pot, it just, just goes a little bit faster. So I'm just adding in multiple layers to hide the foam. Super pretty. Oh, I've gotten some hot glue strings, no worries. No worries. We're just going to mimic the other side and start sticking in some single pieces to cover up that foam that we added. I 
hope everyone's having a wonderful day today and hopefully everyone's getting excited and ready for Christmas. I can't believe we are almost here. We are almost at Christmas time. Okay. Now we got that secured. And then I'm going to take some more of this pine. Actually, you know what? We're going to add in our cardinals real quick, too. And then add in some more of this gorgeous pine. Gorgeous pine. <clears throat> okay, let's add in. Let me make sure that these are a good height. I'm just going to cut them just a smidge. Just a smidge. I don't want them sticking up too much. Yep, that's good. And I'm going to dip that end. And then stick them right into our foam. Dip that right in my glue. Stick them in. Don't worry, we're going to cover it. Oh, you know what? Oh, my goodness. We got to cover it. Hold on. Pull those out. Pull those out. We gotta cover up the sticks with greenery. Hold on. Okay, this is a fun little trick. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot this. So, dab a little bit of hot glue, okay? Grab a green pipe cleaner and start wrapping it around that bamboo stick. I cannot believe I forgot this stuff. So this is just going to hide that bamboo stick a little bit more. It's not foolproof, but I definitely feel like it just helps a little bit. I'm going to snip some of that glue off. Okay. Wrap, wrap, wrap. So now it's going to blend in with the greenery a little bit better, okay? Okay, same thing. Stick them. Let's get them right back into that hole. There we go. So much better. We're going to do the same thing with that other little guy. We're just going to add a smidge, just a little bit of glue right at the base of that bamboo stick. And be careful that you don't glue yourself or burn yourself. And just wrap it around the stick. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Something fell in my room. It's fine. We're fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, dip him in that glue and then I'm going to poke him right where I had him. Poke him in right where I had this guy. Be careful of your foam that you don't break your foam or be too aggressive. All right, let's fluff out that bow. And now, now we're going to start adding in this pine. Let me show y'all what we're working with. So now we're going to fill in the front because the sides are looking really nice and full now. And now we're going to focus on the front and covering up that. Actually, you know what? There's, I want to add two little more pieces. Perfect. I have two right here. Two little pieces right in the back. And then we will start filling in that front. There we go. Okay, there we go. Nice and full back there in the back. So I'm so sorry, I gotta face it towards me now. And we are going to fill in, we're gonna cut these. Mm, will they be halves or littles? Let's do let's do two halves. <clears throat> I'm just cutting these. So now I have four pieces. And I think I want to add. I want to add 
add these right in the front. Ooh, a new angle, that'll be pretty. Let's do that. Okay, I'm just adding in these tops to add a little bit more of the pine look right in front of our cardinals. Okay, and I just realized I gotta grab a holly bush. So Okay, and now we're gonna add in our holly bush. This I got from at home, and we're just gonna pop this right above the bow. Dip it in hot glue, and we're just gonna angle that in. And there you go. So that just hides all of our mechanisms that we got going on. Let me know what you think about my Cardinal Lantern in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Also, I just want to give a big thank you to Amber um, with the Southern Girl Can. Thank you so much for putting this on and organizing it. I know that is not an easy thing to do, so I appreciate you. Thank you for having me um, in your <laughs> Jingle Craft Hop. I truly appreciate it. And y'all, if y'all have watched all of this, thank you. I appreciate y'all being here. And please make sure that you look in my description box and in my comments to follow along with all the other DIYers here on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. Please like and subscribe my, to my channel, and I will be designing with y'all soon. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.